Welcome to Fayetteville, and whoo pig Sue as the Arkansas Razorbacks are ready to take the field. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on another SEC rival, the Arkansas Razorback. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Razorbacks will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. The Longhorns will be in a hole thanks to that short return. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature... Wasting no time taking a shot. Oh, right through his hands. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trusting your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. That's caught, it's blue. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. To the air. It's Ewers. Fires to the wide out. On target to the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Complete in the middle. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. That's a nice looking catch on that play. And I know Texas is known for DBs and they're known for having really good running backs. Not a lot of great receivers over the years. I'll tell you what though, this guy has really showed up in this game. He's making plays. And I know they want to continue to build a legacy at this position here in this program. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He makes a catch. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, we knew this offense wanted to be aggressive in this game plan, and they're doing it right away in the first series, taking a shot down the field. They got the look they wanted, and what a great throw by the quarterback. And the Longhorns in the hurry up. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Moore. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws. You lead your offense down the field. You score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB.
Ready to try the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Arkansas Razorbacks offense has its first opportunity of the day. And it won't be easy to throw the ball down the field today, David, because both of these teams have locked down corners. I mean, these guys shut down half of the field. Playmaking cornerbacks that really can play man-to-man -man and lock down the best guys on the other side. Yeah, if I'm a quarterback in this game, I am taking a calculated risk if I'm thrown towards one of these two dudes because you're just asking to get picked off. And now on second down for this offense. They'll give it to the back. Tackled, but he has a first down. Going to the ground is what the Razorbacks love to do to move those chains with guys like Peyton Hillis and Darren McFadden. Yeah, and you think of just Felix Jones along with the same era, just guys that toted the rock with some physicality, just tough guys that, that make you bring your lunch. When you want to come tackle them, you better bring it. They'll give it to him again. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game over. You gotta have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. And the Razorbacks are rolling down the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Grabbed over the middle. It's the Tegna. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy, quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Haas. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Hey, on offense, you got to know when the play is over. That one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You start trying to juke guys. You start trying to run backward. This ain't high school anymore. I mean, you used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big-time college football, though. Not good. So close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He's going to take off. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Defensively on third and long, you are dropping deep. You are making sure you get at least to the sticks. They got a long way to go. Don't let them throw the football. Make them throw it underneath. And how about this quarterback? He does an unbelievable job. Scrambling around, now hitting the gas. Picks up so many yards. Now he makes it a fourth down and manageable. So much easier on the offense. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board.
after that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's golden. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Set up for second and short after that completion. They'll go to the ground. Still running at the 40. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down on the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah. He got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. He tries to take the top off. He's got it down the left. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Texas! And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of. And they've done that so far here today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. Takes the handoff. It's Jackson. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Guys, it is Texas who holds the lead. 
They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Caught in the backfield. It's Hill. There to make the stop, but they use the back in the passing game and pick up the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. The Razorbacks are marching down the field. Back to pass. It's Green. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Looking to throw on second down. That's caught. It's Armstrong. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Well, that was a dart right there. He's going to give Arkansas a chance because in the old days in the SEC, you had to run the football if you were going to win championships. Today, you better be able to get it done through the air. When you think of all the great play callers in this league and all of the Heisman Trophy winners this league has seen at the QP position in recent years, you better be able to do it throwing the ball. This guy, I think, gives Arkansas a chance with his arm. Catch in the middle. It's Armstrong. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. And the Razorbacks getting set on first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. The Razorbacks have moved it inside the 20. He wants to throw here on second down. He caught it, and he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. Receivers work tirelessly, tapping that toe along the sideline, and it just looks so natural for him. Yeah, it can't just be pat and go all the time, right? Reese just jogging down the field, ball hits you right in stride. you got to be able to make awkward body catches and do it getting your... And he takes it in for the score! Touchdown, Razorbacks! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. They marched 78 yards down the field and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking downfield, it's Ewers. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Now, and that's your goal. Separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point. 
and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Right, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. On third and short, the power run here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. On the return, it's Sategna. Covers team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score. Your defense does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Leaves it with the back. Running with power. And he was just showing off all of the slick moves before the defense finally got him on the ground. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. To the ground with the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Wow, what an impressive looking run. You think back to some of the greatest rushing offenses in the SEC in recent years. Remember that offense that had Darren McFadden and Felix Jones both in the backfield, sometimes taking wildcat snaps? Nobody could stop them. This dude, I think, could have broken his way into that rotation with his ability. This guy's sick. He's got his man. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. 
And here come the Horns. They've got it again on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll put the tight end in motion. The play action fake. Zings it complete to the right. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. Makes the catch. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, i got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Bond. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. The aerial assault continues. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Longhorns! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. To the air on first down. Using the quick game. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. To throw, it's green. Quickly complete. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Armstrong. Oh, that move is going to leave them dizzy. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Quick completion on the out. And he goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few, but still short of the first down. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. On second down, wants to throw. Got his man downfield. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. 
it's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Well, the cornerback wasn't fooled that time. He was squatting on the out route, and because of that, he was able to transition, break on the ball, and knock it away. On second down, they'll try the field goal to get the points before halftime. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It's good. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. On the run from inside his own five, and the returner will be knocked down. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Longhorns will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. They'll open this third quarter with a run. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking downfield, it's Green. Quick strike complete. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. This proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear. One of the great quarterbacks in Arkansas history and Joe Ferguson. Yeah, just slinging the pill. Just being able to, being able to provide balance, being able to attack down the field, get people out of the box, and, and not be predictable. That's a really good job by this quarterback. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. But sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Grabs it in the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Razorbacks will punt it away on fourth down. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. 
David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they execute and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Back to throw. It's Ewers. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Caught over the middle. It's blue. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up in the rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads it downfield. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. Oh, that is a throw that is just going to haunt this quarterback. He had his target wide open, running deep. That should be a touchdown, but the QB overthrew him. That is going to haunt this quarterback tonight. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got an open man. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They go to the ground. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around Jesse. He's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? But in this game, he just seems like he's more dialed in, and he's playing at a different intensity level right now than I think anybody else on the field. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and in a hurry. Dropping back, it's green. Buys a little time. He's going to run it. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, this is a really nice job there on that third down, trying to get after this quarterback. And obviously, they're not able to make the play in the backfield, but really nice job pursuing. You see the athleticism and the speed they have, how they play as a unit together. Only giving up a little bit of a gain and now setting up fourth down. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Here he comes with the return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Finds his big tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. They'll run play action. Pressure coming. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. They're going to throw it again. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Fires to the right. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. The offense set for a first down play. Free snap motion in the backfield. Trying to find his man on first down. He makes the connection. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. For an offense, slant routes against man coverage are really a rhythm throw. You take your steps, you get the ball out, it's got to be in a good location. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there. It's first and 10. They've moved it to the 41. They'll try the run. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Dropping back, it's Green. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On the run, it's Jackson. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's got it on the run. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. 
You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. On third and long, trying to convert through the air. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Razorbacks! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Texas offense. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. Red pass, it's complete. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. Going for the big play. Hits him inside the 20, still going. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Texas! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. The back goes in motion. He'll come out throwing on first down. On the move at the 30. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. Fantastic job there buying time and then using his speed to go get a huge chunk play. You saw on defense a lot of people in the back end with their heads turned around chasing receivers. It's dangerous. You want to play man coverage. You don't want to keep your eyes on the quarterback. You're going to pay for it. You saw it right there. And the Razorbacks headed quickly to the line. They'll throw it on first down. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Well, things have gone pretty well so far, right? You got the lead, you're playing at home, it's late, and you just need a few more of these completions to ice the game. That time, couldn't come away with it. It's a nice play by the defender, knocking it down. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. He'll do it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. 
Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Dropping back, it's Green. Moves away as he feels pressure. Slithers into space. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. Nice job by the QB, sit back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. The Razorbacks will snap it on first and 10. He wants to throw. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. What a tough-minded, hard-edged run. He gets it to the 24. That's why everybody has to do the tip drill. DBs and receivers, and it worked out this time for the offense. That's exactly what you want as a defender. Just get your hand on the football, let that thing bounce, and you see so many big plays made, but it was the opposite. It goes right to the wide receiver, makes the play, makes the catch. Man, that's frustrating for a defense. Snagged in the middle. It's a tag now. Touchdown, Arkansas! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Fires to the big fella. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Back to throw, it's Ewers. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. The Longhorns want to move quickly. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making the honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Dumps it to the back. Caught near the sticks. It's blue. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. And the Longhorns are on the move. Going up top on first down. Holds it in. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid, we're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. 
And, and it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then and you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. To the air, it's yours. Fires to the middle. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Defense were always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Back to the air one more time. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And that don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it in the middle. It's golden. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now, they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Now on second down. Give to the back. Oh, that big stiff arm got him some room. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. It's got to be tough right now on defense. You need to find a way to get a stop, and you haven't been able to do that in the fourth quarter. You've been giving up points. You just gave up a touchdown in the last drive. You need a turnover. You need to do something right now to stop this momentum. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Running to the left. At the 40, there he goes. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. 